Next on Wood Songs, it's the legendary songwriter Iris DeMint. Plus from Carolina Chocolate Drops, Layla McCalla. She went one summer morning where the flowers spread the plain. She told everybody she'd be coming back again. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833 online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky, online at visitlex.com. By Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music, online at folk-book.com. By Ear Trumpet Labs, manufacturing American-made microphones for folk, bluegrass, roots, and acoustic artists. Online at eartrumpetlabs.com. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is Hank Williams. The best in the From the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Hornsby. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hugger, Michael Jonathan. There's something very wrong with this world There's something so wrong with this world There's an air of discontent I've never seen before What's wrong with all these people? Why can't they get along? Man, there's something wrong with this world And there's something real strange going on Something real strange going on I sense a lot of danger from people I don't know Dark clouds of anger now wherever you go There's something so strange going on And it wasn't so long ago It wasn't very long ago When people knew their neighbors And they watched each other's homes Neighbors are now strangers Wherever now you go It wasn't very long ago And I comes with peace now the dream seems so out of reach cause there's something wrong with this world sunrise coming our way I see a sunrise coming our way for I believe that evil is not here to stay love and human kindness is a much better way there's a sunrise coming our way 
I see a sunrise heading our way. There's a sunrise coming our way. And welcome to the historic and beautiful Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're broadcasting from the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the beautiful gateway city to the magnificent Appalachian Mountains. So much art and music does come from this area, and artists come from everywhere to perform on our stage where we celebrate independent and grassroots music of all kinds. It's folk, it's blues, it's bluegrass, country, Celtic, old-timey, new singer-songwriter. Sometimes it's opera, sometimes it's poetry. It's all of this wonderful world that we celebrate uh, artists come uh, to be on the stage in order to introduce their work to you, the wonderful audience. You don't have to be famous to be on our broadcast. You just have to be very, very good. And that is certainly the case of both the artists and an amazing Wood Songs kid on this broadcast. What's neat about the artists on this particular show is both of them have brand new albums and their work is dedicated to the lyrics, to the poetry of magnificent poets of the past. And so we'll get on with the first one. She is an amazing artist uh, in her own right, but she has decided to pull the work of uh, an incredible, uh, mostly unknown Russian poet, that at least, at least in most of the world she's not known, but in Russia she was uh, revered and still is her work. Her name is Anna Akhmatova, and this is her voice. <laughs> Her voice is very passionate, and she was described as a very, very lonely person, and she went through such incredible hardship, and the artist that we're about to introduce to you read her works, was deeply, deeply moved, and has come out with a brand new album called Trackless Woods. This is a tune off the album called Like a White Stone. Please welcome the incredible Iris Dement to the Woods songs, Old Time Radio. Album. Yeah. 
Thank you. From our CD, The Trackless Woods, the amazing Iris Demin. Iris, it's so nice to have you here. Thanks for it. This is your second time on it's our show. It's my second time. Well, it's, it's great to be back. And you came bringing uh, uh, wonderful treasures with the words of this uh, amazing Irish poet. And I guess it started when you, you adopted a child from Russia. Right, right. Uh, Anna, as you said earlier, is quite well known and revered in Russia. And... Uh, yeah, there was just something about her work that struck a chord with me, and I think it also served the purpose of helping me kind of tie together um, that world my daughter came out of and the world she's living in now. So, well, yeah. Anna, Anna Akhmatova, are we saying this correctly together? How, how would you say it's, it? I've heard it, Akhmatova and Akhmatova, to tell You've, you the truth. So I think we'll, we'll We're talking about either. the same person, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was, um, there's not a lot known about her personal life because she was... Uh, censored, uh, persecuted, uh, banned, uh, the, the, all of this in her homeland of Russia, especially during the Stalin years. She was declared an enemy of the state by Stalin. Um, and yeah, it, it's, uh, getting her, keeping her poetry alive was no small feat. She uh, often memorized her poems and kept them alive by passing them on to friends who would also memorize them and sometimes smuggle them out of the country. Right. Anna, which I guess would have been the norm for most any artist in Russia at that time, but she, um, yeah, she took a lot of risks. Well, she, she, she was very bold in her words about things that were going on, like the Russian Revolution, mm -hmm. the poverty of the people, the treatment of the community that around her that she saw. I mean, she obviously had a very good heart uh, as far as caring about what she was seeing. Yeah, uh, she, yeah, there's a lot of love in that heart of hers. She was also an extremely bright gal. And um, yeah, one thing I love is uh, in her writings, she doesn't, she doesn't really go off into, even though she talks about what was going on politically, you know, in the time, she speaks more from a spiritual uh, place. And when she speaks about her land, she speaks very strongly as, you know, the way that I think most of us actually at the end of the day really identify with our land. It's the, 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 the dirt that made us, you know. Mm -hmm. We came out of this place and, and all of that um, physical and emotional and spiritual entangling. Um, I, I love that aspect of her art. Her to, to American audiences, in Russia, she would be sort of like a, a Maya Angelou or a Carl Sandburg, E.E. E. Cummings. Uh, yeah. Poets of that kind of voice, Robert Frost, maybe Walt Whitman. Um, she, she really spoke clearly, and for a woman to do it in that atmosphere during those times, that took a lot of bravery on her part. That's right, yeah. There weren't a lot of female poets. Uh, Marina Stataitz, we talk about not being able to pronounce the last name, Sestiva, something like that, but she was quite well known. But um, those two ladies, by and large, you know, were the the, as far as representing the female voice, it was, yeah, those two gals. And so, yeah, on every level, you're right. She was really taking a, stepping out in the forefront. Well, we're going to talk to you more about how you took her works and put them to, to music. But right now, we're going to go back into the brand new album, The Trackless Woods, brilliant piece of work. Her, the words based on this amazing Russian poet. This is a tune off the album called Not With Deserters. It's Iris Dement on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio.
Here in two smoking fires that blacken Our lives, the last of youth we throw In the years behind us never Sought to evade a single blow Poor exile You are like a prisoner to me Or one upon a bed of sickness Dark your Smash your alien bed. Here in two smoking fires that blacken our lives, the last of youth we throw. Who in the years behind us never sought to. Dark your road, oh wanderer of a worm would smash your alien Thank you. Beautiful song called Not With Deserters from a brand new CD uh, called The Trackless Woods. The uh, words, of course, coming from the great uh, literary writer from Russia, Anna Akhmatova. And, and Iris, you, you read, read her poetry and just moved you to music almost immediately. I mean, it's something that came very fluidly to you on, on this project. Well, uh, the first uh, four or five came immediately, and um, <laughs> then it got to be work. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how that tends to go, isn't it? Um, but y yeah, you know, the others certainly, you know, t uh, it, it was different. It took me time to arrive at the melodies, but it was an interesting project for me in that it in that it never felt like work. Mm -hmm. It was just a joyful undertaking from start to finish. And what would your work progress pr uh, process be like? Are you, are you sitting home, or is it, is it done while you're on tour? No, I, I would be uh, at home at my piano, and um, you know, my process really would be just enjoying the poetry. And in, you know, I love the piano, and there's for me just something about the sound of the piano makes uh, it, it makes me feel like things are possible. And so I just sat there at the piano with that possible notion, <laughs> and then a uh, possible showed up every now and then. The melody would appear. <laughs> I mean, it, it was just uh, it was just sort of, you know, enjoying what's here for us already, and then it took a form. Now, did you find that you had to modify her lyrics to fit into the melody of the chord structure, or did you stay? Very rarely. You stayed pretty true to her. Yeah. Yeah, and these were translations I was right. working off of, so I would naturally pick the translations that I felt were most singable, um, when she ended up being Babette Dutch's and uh, Lynn Coffin's. It would, um, stayed true to rhyme, which is how uh, Anna wrote. So, uh, so they're very rhymed and metered, so I had that huge advantage. Um, but yeah, there, there were a f very few changes, actually, a word here and there. So. Well, you're, you're, you're using the words, I mean, Anna, Anna lived from uh, 1889, I think it was, all, the way, right. all the way to, uh, where was it, 1966, Nin mid-60s. That's correct. Uh, um, so that, that's a lot of work. I mean, how did you pick her poems? Well, you're right. She has thousands of poems, and yeah. I, I may just keep going. I, I, I'm not ready to let <laughs> Anna go yet. It's a triple album. <laughs> but um, the, uh, I was not aware of that when I started this project. I myself had never heard of Anna Akhmatova 
the day I set the first song to music. So it was all uh, news to me. I didn't know who she was. But I, um, I limited myself by large to um, a four or five page section of her poetry that was in a Russian poetry anthology. And um, you know, it wasn't until later that I realized she had so many more to choose from. But those were translated by Babette Dutch, and I just I felt like there was something pretty special going on between Babette and Anna, and I liked that style that um, you know that they they had going. So I I um, largely I they were there in that book, and those are the ones I chose to stay with. And then I ventured out later for the next uh, four or five. But you know, as, as I was I was reading some of her poetry to see what was moving you to do this this project. Mm -hmm. I noticed something that she wrote once. She said, if you were music, I would listen to you ceaselessly and my low spirits would brighten up. And she had kind of a sad life, but who would have ever thought she might have been talking about Iris DeMint, taking her words, putting them to music. Mm -hmm. So it's a lovely partnership that you had with this great Russian poet. They're all found on this brand new CD. It's called The Trackless Woods. It's an amazing piece of work. This is a tune called Oriental Notebook. It's Iris DeMint on the Woods songs. Old time radio.
Thank you. Absolutely beautiful song. Iris Demin from her CD, Trackless Woods. Let's give props to Chris Donahue playing bass over there. Yes. John Grabid on the <laughs> mandolin. John Graybob. Graybob. Doing a great job. If you want to revisit this broadcast, we encourage you to do so. You can uh, just go to our website, woodsongs.com, if you click on the archive page. This is show number 834. You get to see Iris DeMint perform, as well as our next artist, who has also uh, created a body of work, a CD, an album that is based on the words of an amazing uh, American poet. And I want you to hear uh, some of his words. This is a poem called The Dream. That is why it is wise, I should think, to hold fast to dreams. For if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. It's the words of Langston Hughes that became very popular during the Civil Rights Movement, uh, very influential on people like Martin Luther King and, and others. She is here. She was a member of the uh, Great Carolina Chocolate Drops, but she's here on her own as a solo artist. She's got a new CD called Very Colored Songs. This is a tune off the album about Langston Hughes' words called Girl. Please welcome Layla McCalla from New Orleans to the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. And she died in pain She danced in sunshine And laughed in rain She went one summer morning Where the flowers spread the plain She told everybody She'd be coming back again Folks built her a coffin and they hid her deep in the earth. Seems like she said, my body brings new birth. She went one summer morning where the flowers spread the plain. She told everybody she'd be coming back again. For sure there grew flowers and tall young trees, sturdy weeds and grasses, to sway in the breeze And sure she lived in growing things with no pain The dance in sunshine and laugh in rain She went one summer morning where the flowers spread the plain She told everybody she'd be coming back again She went one summer morning the flowers spread the plain she told everybody she'd be coming back again coming back again coming back again coming back coming back coming back again in the flowers and the trees the grasses and the weeds coming back coming back coming back again from her CD, Very Colored Songs, the great Layla McCalla and her tribute to poet Langston Hughes. We're going to get back in the second half hour, talk more to Leia about her CD, her cello, and her banjo. We've got the wonderful Iris DeMint here with work from her new uh, CD. And wait till you meet this week's 12-year-old Wood Songs kid. we got a lot more coming. We'll be back right after this.
Hi, this is Dar Williams, and you're exploring the world of grassroots music with folk singer Michael Jonathan on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And thank you very much, Dar. Welcome back, everybody. And this is the part of the show that I really, really look forward to, where we welcome a child performer some, from somewhere in the United States or Canada to come to Lexington, Kentucky, where we uh, broadcast the show from the Lyric Theater, and they get to perform one song on the show with seasoned, touring, experienced uh, performers. And we found a wonderful 12-year-old girl from London, not the nation, we're talking Kentucky. Kentucky here, London, Kentucky. <laughs> Madison Lewis, how are you? I'm good, how are you? It's nice to see you again. Now, we're, we're friends. You've, uh, you've performed at the Woodsongs Gathering, and you've, you're just uh, you're playing your own uh, Martin guitar here. I am. And, and you wrote a song about your guitar. I did. It's and called Blonde Martin. Blonde Martin. That's the song that you're going to perform for us today, right? Correct. But how, how long have you been playing? You're 12 years old. Yes. Right? How long yeah. have you been playing? For the last six months, I've really picked up music, but I've always, six you know, kind of played around. But for the last six months is when I really focused on okay. you know, pursuing this. All right. So uh, that that that's 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 discouraging to many people <laughs> <laughs> that have been at it for six years and stuff. So you're playing your guitar. Essentially, you've been performing uh, your guitar for six months, and this is a song at 12 years old that you wrote. And I'm telling the audience now that you remind me of a young L. King. You're that good. Okay, so we're going to get ready. You're going to perform the tune, right? Tell everybody the, the title one more time. The song is called Blonde Martin. Blonde Martin. It's Madison Lewis, 12 years old, our Wood Songs kid. We on Busty Flat Couldn't pay for rent The old Nashville streets was a place that I was meant to be Lost all my money at a gambling swing downtown Woke up alone with a blonde Martin and a lonesome soul With my blonde Martin and my lonesome soul Darling, darling, gotta pack your bags and head down the road. More cafe talking, more bluegrass walking, and I'm the one on that empty shelf. No more good times, just lonely, dark at night. Hopelessly searching for myself With my blood martyr And my lonesome soul Darling, darling, gotta pack your bags And head down the road Bruising cracked feet down this long and winding road Trying to make my way to that grand old library show. Playing year round at the bars is only where I'll go. Whoa. My blood, Marty, and my lonesome soul. Oh, darling, darling, gotta pack your bags and air. It's a, CD, it's a song off her CD called Heart of Gold. It is Layla McCalla on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Sell my heart of gold 
Wonderful Layla Nakala from New Orleans from her CD, Very Colored Songs, a beautiful piece of work. So Layla, tell me about your interest in Langston Hughes, the poet that a lot of the, your work on the new album is based on. Why, why him? Why, why did you do it that way? Um, I think there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, you know, growing up, my, my parents had his books around the house, and so the access, I guess, was part of it. Um, but also just uh, his poetry really spoke to me. I, I mean, even when I was a kid, and you know, it was about um, <laughs> your age. <laughs> um, reading Langston Hughes's poetry, I felt like it was something that I, I could understand. It was easy to grasp the concepts, and then you know, as I got older, um, it hit me even harder, understanding more the the historical references he makes, the references to you know, the civil rights movement or even before that, um, and all the, uh, you know, conflict um, in our country around race, um, you know, those things really, really resonated with me and, you know, they still do. Well, in a lot of ways, Langston Hughes wrote uh, beyond the, the issues of black and white. He was, he was talking about humanity a lot. Like, you know, we played earlier, you know, his, his poem, Dream, could apply to anybody, and it doesn't matter their color. I mean, he was interested in really bringing uh, people together. And your mom and dad were very much that way. They were very interested in human rights, especially as regards the Haitian people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, uh, you know, throughout my whole childhood, my dad was the director of a um, an organization called the National Coalition for Haitian Rights, and you know, my mom was an immigration lawyer for many years and was the founder of a of a women's uh, rights organization. And so, you know, I think that that definitely shaped the things that I'm, uh, you know, exploring creatively. Um, my parents really exposed me to a lot of very progressive thinking that uh, I'm really thankful for. <laughs> well, and you're you're using the uh, cello as a singer-songwriter instrument. You've got the uh, the the uh, banjo in your lap right now. You're going to do that, and and uh, you know you were with the uh, Carolina Chocolate Drops as as a, as a band member for a while. But this is actually your debut uh, album as a solo artist, as an individual person artist. So, <laughs> not with the band. You are the band, right? <laughs> Layla McCalla, her. 
album is very colored songs, a tribute to the 60s literary icon Langston Hughes. If you want to revisit this broadcast and hear Layla's uh, music again, just go to woodsongs.com, click on the archive page. This is show number 834. There you'll see Layla as well as this wonderful artist that's on our stage, and she's got uh, uh, an album dedicated to the words of yet another poet from Russia. We'll talk about that shortly, but this is a tune from that album called Song About Song. It's Iris de Mint on Wood Songs. Thank you. CD's called Trackless Woods. Uh, Iris has got Grammy written all over it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful collection of work. Beautiful. So how long did it take you to write the album? There's, there's, I mean, you got, you've got uh, 12 songs. No, you got 18, 18, 18 yeah. songs. Well, you know, um, I've always... Uh, as you know, I've written my own songs, and I've um, so this is a totally new project for me, and I found it helped immensely having someone else write the text. Well, <laughs> finally, uh, you got, got a great co writer there. Yeah, I got a great co writer, <laughs> and uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, uh, well, but um, so you know, the aspect of that that was pretty interesting for me is it just allowed my allowed me to just relax in, in melody which I've never been able I've never had the opportunity to do and I found that I love it there I yeah. love hanging around in melody so uh, and there's a lot of great poets out there so shoot I might have uh, well you're you're, out of my, you're not bad future. yourself a you lot know. of poets needing a melody so <laughs> but um the reason I ask, because our Wood Songs kid, Madison Lewis, 12 years old, could probably do it in six months. 
That's what she, that's what I think she could do. So. Well, she's got a great future. Doesn't so she? Isn't it nice to see these kids now? Now, uh, uh, Anna Akhmatova, I'm going to pronounce it that way if you yeah, don't mind. Um, she, she had a lot of trouble relationship-wise, husbands, boyfriends, a lot, a lot of loneliness is expressed in her writings. I read quite a bit of it, yeah. the English translations. I mean, it's painfully lonely, some of that. Yeah, you know, uh, it's interesting. That's my take on uh, her work as well. But uh, after setting these poems, you know, along the way, I got really interested in her and her life. And there actually is a fair amount of material out there about her, to my surprise. But uh, interestingly, I remember coming across a passage once where she talked about that, how that people often talk about her as having had a hard, which undeniably she had a hard life. Two of her husbands, one has, husband was executed by Stalin, the other died in the gulag. Yeah. Her son was sent to the gulag twice. Many of her peers, other poets, artists, were executed or fled. She, she went through, you name it, she went through it. And yet I remember reading this passage where she complained about that. She said she didn't like it when people said she had a sad, unfortunate life. She's, she was, she's like, I had an amazing life. I got to experience everything there was to experience. And different people, um, of course, that's late in life. It's a lot easier to say that when you're at the end of the game, isn't it? But, <laughs> um, but she did. And, um, yeah, a lot of people who knew her said she was actually quite funny and uh, had this other side that... Which I, I'm going to, I'm, 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 I hope I'm not taking too much, but I might add, there is a lot of poetry that I did not set to music that evidences that as well, actually. Sure. There is a lot of lighthearted, playful stuff. And well, the serious side of her is, I found that to be incredibly powerful. I'll just give you a couple examples, because I just wrote like two or three small sentences down. Uh, one of the things she wrote, uh, talking about the uh, difficult times that Russia was, was facing, uh, especially during the Stalin years, it was a time when only the dead smiled happy in their peace. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's it. Rising from the past, my shadow is running in silence to meet me. I mean, that's intense, intense writing. Yeah. yeah. She uh, witnessed a lot, and I, as a poet, um, you can definitely, I mean, in those words, you know, you probably don't need to know anything else about Anna, but to read those words and know she had a sense of herself as having a, a duty. She had a call, and she had a duty and a responsibility to her land and to her people to um, give a voice to what was happening there. Well, you certainly, did, you certainly did well by her sense because you certainly came up with a, with a piece of work that just absolutely gives honor to this great Russian literary giant, Anna Akhmatova. Her CD is called Trackless Woods. This is a song based on Anna's poetry. It's called Listening to Singing. It's Iris DeMint on the Woods songs, old time radio album. <laughs>
beginning their flies. It's John Grayboff and Chris Donahue over there helping me out. Wasn't it great having Iris DeMint on our broadcast? Thank you. The Trackless Woods is her new CD. And from New Orleans, Layla McCalla, she's got a beautiful work in tribute to Langston Hughes and our 12-year-old Woodsongs kid, Madison Lewis, 12 years old, from London, Kentucky. You know, Layla McCalla, she, she has a beautiful album about the words of Langston Hughes, who was very inspirational to someone like Martin Luther King during the Civil Rights Movement. And all of that cycle came back to an artist in New Orleans who put out an album based on, in tribute to his words. Iris DeMint has done the same thing from Russia at the turn of the century. Anna Akhmatova moved thousands and thousands of people with these passionate, brilliant words and, and Oh, that big, huge cycle, artist to artist. Now, Iris DeMint has come out with a beautiful album in tribute to those words. And we had the young uh, Madison Lewis who wrote her own song at 12 years old about her guitar, about how inspiring her guitar is to her. Art inspires more art. And Anna Akhmatova was writing about that very thing. And she said something that I thought would be a great close to a broadcast like this. She said, and she was talking about artists and her art and her poetry. She said, you will hear thunder and remember me and think she wanted storms and the rim of the sky will be like hard crimson and your heart will be on fire. That's what you need to be to your own children. You need to be that kind of inspiration so your children can become like Layla, like, like Iris, and so many under wonderful artists. My name's Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a tree hugger, and we'll see you next week on the Woods Songs. Old Time Radio. Good night. You've been listening to Wood Songs broadcast number 834. Michael's opening song was Sunrise, featuring Melissa Deaton Jonathan on vocals, Isaac May on mandolin, Goose Marshall on harmonica, and Bob Ryan on bass. Well, there's our show. I hope you had a good time. We sure had a good time making it. If you'd like to send me an email, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is michael at woodsongs.com. If you visit our website, there's a huge archive page of hundreds of past shows. While you're there, you can find out how you can become a song farmer. And speaking of the archives, here's a scene from one of those past shows now. We'll see you again next week on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Well, I have there and a hide for the honeybee and a small cabin of clay and wattles made And I will live alone In the bee-loud glade And I will have some peace there For peace comes dropping slow Where midnight's all a glimmer and noon's a purple glow Dropping from the veils of morning To where the cricket sings And the evening full Full of the linnet's wings I will arise and go now For always night and day When I Closed captioning provided by The Deering Banjo Company The television broadcast of the Woods Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by The Martin Guitar Company Making handcrafted guitars since 1833 Online at martinguitar.com the Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky online at visitlex.com. By Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music, online at folk-book.com. By Ear Trumpet Labs, manufacturing American-made microphones for folk, bluegrass, roots, and acoustic artists. 
online at eartrumpetlabs.com.